team. How's it going? Uh, I'm Ben from Process, and we're hanging out in a little corner of my office in Belfast here today. Uh, I'm here with the leaderboard for season eight of the leaderboard coffee game. Uh, and I'm super hyped, uh, super grateful to have had the chance to get involved um, and to have had the chance to share um, a really special coffee with you guys. Um, hopefully you've been enjoying it. Hopefully you've been sipping and slurping your way through uh, and that you've long finished your bags by now. Um, but uh, I'm here to tell you a little bit about it uh, and find out a little bit more about the coffee that you've been drinking. Um, so this is it. This is what it looks like if you buy it from Process. Um, and the coffee that you've been drinking uh, is the Yeni Esperanza from Colombia. So Yeni Esperanza is the producer uh, and the coffee uh, is a washed thermal shock Castillo. Um, so an incredible example of a Castillo varietal. Um, you guys might have guessed that um, from the beans, um, but a washed thermal shock um, process, which is a, an experimental process. Um, and to give you a real quick, succinct uh, version of it, it is using a wash process, but altering the temperature of the water um, through the course of that process um, to affect then the, the end result in the processing of the, the coffee cherry and the coffee seed. Um, so which results in an incredible coffee, as you hopefully know, um, uh, that's bright, that's fruit forward, that um, elevates the acidity in it, um, but uh, that really showcases the, the sugariness of it um, and gives it body as well. Um, it's a fantastic coffee and I, I don't think I'll ever get tired of drinking it. Um, Yeni Esperanza, along with her brother, uh, Ron Finca El Paraiso, um, and you might have heard of her brother, um, Diego Bermudez. Um, so he's been uh, releasing some incredible coffees um, in the last few years, um, and Yeni Esperanza is his sister. Um, and so together they, they head up Finca El Paraiso, um, which is just showcasing um, really incredible coffees and what Colombia can offer um, uh, with coffees. Um, so this is this is the one. Let's let's talk about this one. Um, I'll give you a couple of couple of pointers on what I get um, from aroma uh, and from from uh, from the cup. Um, but again, um, the more people I talk to about this coffee, the more um, interesting kind of taste references and and nostalgic reminders um, it gives them, um, which is awesome, which is rad. Uh, aroma wise, when when I open the bag, when I grind the coffee. Uh, when I hit that first bloom, um, I get raspberry, I get fresh peaches, and I get like, a coconut sugar or coconut sweetness that's kind of like a macaron. Um, and then uh, and then as I brew, um, and then, uh, when, when the cup's hot, um, that's when I get that kind of passion fruit note. Um, maybe, maybe hibiscus florals, um, uh, but really that passion fruit starts to come through. Um, and then when you when you drink it, then as as, as far as taste notes go, um, passion fruit, peach, um, they they really carry. You maybe as far as body, maybe get like that kind of like chewy cherry um, kind of body uh, in in the cup. Um, but it's all there. It's it's all up for grabs with this coffee because it's such a bright, acidic, um, fruit forward coffee. Um, the nostalgic reminder for me is uh, these little like fizzy peach ring sweets that I used to get um, when I was like 12. Um, used to buy a big big old bag of them and get hyped up with sugar. Um, but this coffee reminds me of that and, and I hear quite a, quite a bit of those different nostalgic reminders of, of uh, old school sweets uh, that people have had. Um, so that's the coffee. Um, I hope you've been enjoying it. Um, thanks heaps for um, for getting involved with leaderboard, it's an, it's insane. And um, thanks heaps to the leaderboard for having me on. Um, and yeah, till next time, team. Have a good one. Mm, come on.